somebody special. Um. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, I'm late. I'm sure we've all been using the time to put those little finishing touches on our homework, huh? Yeah. Haven't we? Mm. Okay, first, uh, class electives. Last day for those is Friday. You have to get your forms into the office. Also, Mrs. Belli. She's called me again. Now look, somebody is putting cigarette butts in her flower pot. Every time this happens, she calls me, she chews me out like I'm the one who did it. So enough, let's give me a break, okay? All right, let's turn to page 34. Father, I have a question. Yeah, Ronald. The Post said it's a priest that's doing these murders of these women. Yeah, but the Post also says that the Pope is Jewish and is married, so... <laughs> Nina? Um, well, how could it be a priest? I mean, you can't commit mortal sins, right? Well, I wish that were true, but no. We're human. We can commit sins just like anybody else. Well, if a priest kills somebody, can he still do the sacraments? Well, if he was really a priest, yeah. But, I mean, he can't be a priest who's doing this. I see you're all concerned about this, but don't be. Just be careful at home. Don't let anybody into the house that you don't know. You'll be all right. You know this, right? All right, so the sacrament we're studying today is... Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. It has been one week since my last confession, and these are my sins. I had a fight with my sister, um, three times, and I talked back to my mother, and, uh, I have the name pure thought. I can hear you. In pure thoughts. What do you think about when you have these thoughts? I think about being with somebody and giving myself to, to him. Do you think about loving and getting married and having a family? Yes. That's good. Because if we think about sharing, which is something that married people do, that's, that's healthy. What if we can't get married? Well, that's difficult. Because the act is sacred and it must be shared through the sacrament of marriage. But I can't stop thinking about it. You're not alone. God knows we're all weak. That's why he gave us confession. Are you sorry for your sins? Yes. And for your penance, say an act of contrition and five our fathers. Remember the Lord is full of mercy. Right. By the ministry of the church, may you find reconciliation and peace. And I absolve you from your sins in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. When was your last confession? June 2nd, 1980. And what are your sins? <coughs> In pure thoughts. Do you act on these thoughts? No. Do you feel like you can't control them? I want to be pure. Yes, well, the Lord knows how weak we all are. If you keep having these thoughts, then come and see me. I'm always here. My name is Tom Cusack. She's a relative. Oh, no. Her number is five, seven, six, nine. Do you feel guilty about her? Not now. Okay. Are you sorry for your sin? Of course. And for your penance, say a good contrition. And ten our fathers. And thank the Lord for the gift of life. By the ministry of the church, may you find reconciliation and peace. And I absolve. Absolve you from your sins in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Do you see that woman over there? Yeah? I've seen her street walking. Oh, 
don't have a sign on the door. It doesn't say no sinners. It says five hundred dollar jackpot. So you you think it's all right? If she wins big, she won't have to lock the gate. She should find a husband and go to church. She works all day, all the time, even on Sundays. I'm sure her works are important. Mama Nina's waiting in the car. We gotta go, okay? Would you say hello to her for me? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Just because she has a guy, she thinks she's the boss. Huh? Yeah. Mama, bye, bye. All right, I'm coming. What about doing Mrs. Bache next week? I understand that Bingo is an important fundraiser. I'm a little concerned about some of the elements it brings to the church. Isn't that our job, Bingo? To bring people to St. Mary's and then try to help them? Good night. Thanks for coming. See you soon. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you. I only say the word, and I shall be healed. Dietorium nostro in nomine Domini, qui fece cielo e metteranno, e sorciso te creatore salas, per Deum vivum, per Deum verum, per Deum sanctum. Oh, you gotta get out of here right now. Come on. 
away the sins of the world, happy are those who are called to the supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us to life everlasting. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Amen. Body of Christ. Amen. Body of Christ. Amen. Body of Christ. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Do you remember me? I used to work at Sunrise House. Oh, yes. So they just have a phone. Uh, how's Father Murphy? I don't know. They laid me off two months ago. Uh, and I need a job, Father. I'll say a prayer. Thank you. Daniel tells me that you're the one who decided not to call the police. No need to, I just guess. You have been seriously hurt. Young people need guidance, controls. We have to set standards. If we waited for the police came, then someone might have gotten hurt. I have decided to start a new campaign. It's called God is Alive in the Heart of the City. We will make St. Mary's more visible to the community. More visible? That means more presentable. We can start by fixing the bells. We don't have the money for that, do we? Uh, I could uh, set up a PA system. We could use the tape. Go ahead. Follow through on that. I'm sorry, but how did the bells get to be such a high priority right there? The bells are a symbol of the church. Do you think you could have them ready by next week for the carnival? Yes, Monsieur. Thomas, I decided to let Daniel take care of the publicity for the carnival. Is that okay with you? I don't want to step on any toes. No, for anything that helps the scholarship money. Then that'll be all. Thomas, in the future, I expect you not to wear your blue so proudly. Yes? Father, can I see you for a minute? Oh, uh, sure, Nina. Come on in. Does it hurt, Father? Your eye? No, it's a lot better today. Thanks. Um, I brought you these. They're my sisters, and you need a prescription to get them. No, thanks, that's okay. I'm not gonna take anything. Thank you. Oh, I can have just a couple of them. <gasps> I'm sorry, Father. Okay. Okay, here. Father, can I ask you something? Yeah, sure. How do you control who you love? I don't know. Well, what if you love the wrong person? That happens sometimes. I don't know what to do. Maybe it's best to do nothing. I'm sorry. These are stupid questions. No, they're not stupid questions. I'll see you in class tomorrow, okay?
what comes spirit you to her. That's very good. Are you a priest? I was ordained by fire. How did you know on Friday that Angela Brunetti was dead? They didn't find her body till yesterday. I am only responsible for her soul. Did you kill her? You must say mass for Rose Croce. Oh my god. Number four, eight, one, four. Tell me your sins. Found the door open, you walked right in, and there was the deceased. Yes. How'd you get the bruise, Father? I broke up a fight at school. You knew uh, Rose Croce well? She was a parishioner, and her daughter's in my class at school. Why'd you go to her house? I had a confession. Mrs. Croce's? No. Whose confession was it? I can't tell you that. What can you tell us? Nothing. I wish I could, but thank you. How did you feel when you saw the blood? Oh, come on, please. Just answer the question. Look, I heard a confession and I went to her house. That's it. You expected to find her dead. I told you I can't answer that. Brother, we found some salt, a burning candle, and an oily substance on the deceased. Was there some kind of black mass performed? Mrs. Croce had been anointed with olive oil. Salt is used sometimes to get the oil off your thumb. It looked like she'd been given the last rites. So a priest did this? You're making an assumption. Whoever committed the homicide gave the deceased the last rites. I couldn't say. Who besides a priest would know the last rites? Well, anybody could go and buy a, <clears throat> a um, you know, a, a ritual book from a Catholic bookstore. They would have to know what to ask for, wouldn't they? Yes, yes, they would. Out. Come on, brother. Where are we going? You're going to the meditation room. What about my phone call? You made your phone call. Yeah, the line was busy. It happens. How long am I going to be in here? I wish I could tell you, but I can't. Chief stuff too seriously, do you?
Okay, what do we got here, Father? We have you at the scene of the crime. We have your fingerprints on the ashtray. We have an M.O. that makes it look like a priest that did it. Your alibi is that you have a confession that you can't tell us anything about. I get what you're doing, Lieutenant. You think if you charge me with a murder, then I'll tell you what I know to clear myself. But don't say another word. Lieutenant Williams, I'm Robert McGall. Returning to His Excellency, your bishop. Come with me, Thomas. I'm not done with him yet. Yes, you are. Mr. McGall, I've got a serial homicide here. Let me explain something to you. Your priest is a material witness. A confession is confidential. It's like the relationship between a lawyer and his client and a psychiatrist and his patient. As far as you're concerned, what goes on inside the confessional does not exist. He's still a suspect. If you have a case, then book him. Do you know the trouble you're in? You compromise yourself and St. Mary's. I have to say something to him. No! That is not a good idea! I know it wasn't you. Sorry. Nina! No! Maria! You heard his confession. This is not a subject for Why don't you tell them who he is? Look, I can't. I don't know who it is. That's enough. We're finished here. He knows! He knows! Come on in. You know this woman? She was a prisoner. Living a Falcon. Did you get a confession about her? No. Meet Angela Bernetti. That's Lorraine Pankowski. Rose Croce. Christina Panera. How many more, Father? How many more? Tell me, Father. How many more have to die? Brother Anthony, please. Fra Antonio? Los Petas? 
sorry, I don't speak Italian. I'm non parlo Italiano. He not here. He's not. Where is he? He not here. Why don't we just... He not here! He not here! Take a look. Non ti preoccupare, mamma. Non ho però. Oh, you... Let me talk to you, sir. Your brother, Anthony. <coughs> what do you want? Do you know Rose Crotty? I don't answer that kind of question. Did you know that she was murdered? I'm talking to you. Got the cards. Got the cards. I provide a service, Father. Just like you. When something terrible happens to one of your parishioners, you pray together. You ask their faith in God's will. But for some, and there is much confusion, so they come to me for a sign, and I deal the cards. What? The evil eye. It's on you. to your left. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'm John Bianchi. Welcome to the Society. Thanks. How's Paris Light treating you? Looks rough and tumble. Oh. Oh, that's just a, just a silly accident. Well, what can I do for you? I'm looking for someone who may have come through your order. What's his name? Well, that's just it. I, I don't know. I heard a confession from somebody who desperately needs help. And I think that he may have trained for the priesthood and possibly at this order. What makes you think he came through the society? I can't tell you that. Well, I'm afraid I can't help you. Why not? Because the system isn't set up to find someone whose name you don't know and who may or may not have been in the society sometime. Well, look, I can't tell you anything specific because it came from a confession. But what I need to do is look through your records. May I do that? <laughs> the records are confidential. Well, could you at least give me a list of people who dropped out? What you're asking is out of the question. Yeah. Look, if I don't find this person, somebody else might die. Now, you gotta help me. I got no place else to go. I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do for you. Oh, by the way, give my best to Daniel Simmons. You're lucky to have him. You studied here? Yes. I will. Thank you. Yes, Father. Get me the Archbishop's office, please. Does anybody ever clean up here? So these are the new valves, huh? Yes, I... I set the system up before. Madame Miss Grazio. How dare you score in the Colton Tendon? I didn't know you studied at the Society. I didn't. John Bianchi says to say hi. Hello? When did you see John? You've been having some trouble breathing lately, haven't you? Well, I, I have asthma. When did you have your last confession? What are you talking about? Is there anything bothering you? Your behavior. 
No, excuse me. I have to go downstairs and check the system. talking with Daniel. I think you've lost sight of our mission here. You are a priest, not a cop. You have a responsibility to this parish. I need you on the job. You can start by taking care of this. I'm Father Kusan. You don't have to speak. Just listen to my words and not. Are you sorry for your sins? I have some of your sins. You say a prayer. If your mother is murdered, you say a prayer. You hide behind your rituals and you watch people die. A man is dying, you do everything you can to try to save his body. I'm doing everything I can to save his soul. I don't believe in souls. You're wearing a cross? My mother gave it to me. I don't think you should make Nina move back into your apartment yet. I don't really think it's any of your business. She came to me very upset. Oh, you thought that you could solve all of our problems for us, right? Just like you solved this old man's? Like you solved my mother's? You know what you can do? You can go to the police, you can tell them what you know, and then maybe you can save somebody. Somebody who's still alive.
Grace will be right with you. Well, Thomas. It's been a long time, Thomas. We're both a little uh, like <laughs> Oh, I miss our conversations that we used to have when you were here at the Chancery. And I wish we could have had our reunion under more auspicious circumstances. Me too. I uh, had a call from John Yankee of the Society of the Cross. Seems someone wanted to go through the seminary files like a detective. Maybe I was a little impulsive. Now you understand your actions are casting suspicion on your fellow priests. Or, you mean, on the church. Don't fence with me, Thomas. I want you to promise to stop your investigation. But I just can't stand by and do nothing. But that's exactly what you have to do. When you became a priest, you set yourself apart from ordinary men. This wasn't an ordinary confession. It doesn't matter. The sanctity of the sacraments is absolute. Even if they were to arrest someone you knew was innocent, you can't do it. I can't promise to stop looking for him. You're a good priest, Thomas. I'd hate to lose you. Maybe that's what this is about. Maybe I'm not supposed to be a priest anymore. Well, every priest has his faith challenged, profoundly challenged, at least once. I know. But I always thought the challenge would be the temptation for a woman, or the desire for power, or not this. What will you do? I don't know. If you value your relationship with your students, your work in the community. All that you care about is a priest. Your soul. I suggest you be very careful, Thomas. What do you want from me? The priest come to see me. Playing detective. Cusack. Cusack is his name. He scared my mother half to death. He asked me about Rose Croce. What do I know? Why don't you ask him? You recognize the voice? Okay, let's book the voodoo man. Murder, first degree. He's not the man you want. That guy's a fortune teller named Anthony Volpe. That's an alias. His name's Carlo Mantini. I found traces of a prescription drug in confessional called Turbitol. Spectroscopic analysis show the same drug in a residue at one of the crime scenes. This brother, Anthony, he uses a medication with Terpitol. I'm telling you, he's not the man you want. Well, then, we're back to go, waiting for another body to turn up.
Five a few seconds. I know you're in pain. Talk to me. I'm not here to threaten you. I'm here to help. He broke the rule. Who? Who did? The other one. He opened my door. To the confessional? He had no right. He was confused. You must say mass for Kate Harney. Did you murder her? She was offered. Like a sacrifice? Yes. I have your medicine. You have to help me. If you want it, you have to come get it. Why are you doing this to me? I'm trying to show you that you're weak. If you're weak, you must be a sinner. But they tempted me! <laughs> From this side. We are right about one thing. The black type of Kate Harney is not Simmons. Not Simmons, not Kusai. We're going backwards here. What do we do now? Don't worry about it. I'll take care of him. You scared him away, Daniel. Scared him away? He stabbed me! You turned this killer into your personal crusade, Thomas. Don't pass it off on Daniel. I tried to stop it! By compromising the confessional? I don't ever want you to do that again. Now, let us pull together and get on with it! We have a church to run here! Excuse me, Monsignor. Yes, Lieutenant. We're all finished up now, but there is one more thing I'd like to ask. Yes? I think the killer is establishing a pattern. I think he's fixated on Cusack as his confessor and needs to confess, so I'd like you to close the church. What? Close the church? Except for confession. Then when he comes back, we'll be here. I'm sorry, Lieutenant. This is the house of God. You cannot take the mass away from the parish. The people of this community depend on us. Another one of your parishioners may die. St. Mary's is always open. Then I insist on a police presence now, and even during the carnival if necessary. Everyone is always welcome in my church. I trust you will use discretion. Thank you. I hope we find him before he has something more to confess. Well, what will we do if he does come back? Here's confession. Issues of the Society Sentinel. What year? June 1980. That would be in the library on microfilm. Hello again. Nothing's changed here, Thomas. I just have one question. I have to be going. But on June 2nd, 1980, there was a fire in the dormitory here. You were the resident counselor. That was a long time ago. Well, I think you remember this. It wasn't a little wastebasket fire. It destroyed a whole room. Whose room was it? I really can't remember. Well, why don't, why don't you just take a minute and try to remember? Look, I had to counsel 90 students that term. I was an associate in the administrator's office, and my mother was terminally ill.
Okay, you see that brown car down there? Right there. That's a cop. He followed me here. This looks bad for the society. No. If they question why I was here, I can say I came to borrow this book. But if I leave with nothing, I'll have to be evasive. Then they'll come to you. Confidential? Completely. His name was Paul Kay. Did he start the fire? He was a very impressionable young man who tried too hard. He was such a perfectionist. His mother brought him up alone. They were very close. I understand she caught him with a girl experimenting. He tried to make it up to her by going into the seminary. But she died during his first term. One day, he piled everything he owned into the middle of the room, poured alcohol on it, and set it on fire. Why? I don't know. It was like he was trying to shed his past. Do you have any idea where he is now? No. After he left the seminary, we lost track of him. I'll bring it back. I'm like the work for the people. Well, let's see what we can do. <clears throat> this is Rose Crutch's farm. She was my mother. Why are you here? My mother died several days ago. Yes, we've been notified. I'm sorry. Um, my sister's only 16, and um, so she still qualifies for age dependent children. I'm a guardian, and... Uh, I guess the future checks will have to be made up to me. Yes. Yes, of course. Fill up this form, please. I'm truly sorry for your loss. What is the going to process? Normally two to three weeks, but under the circumstances, I'll handle your case personally. My name is Paul Kay. Is that all? Yes, for now. Thank you. somewhere. And if you make a connection and you find him, what are you going to do? I don't know. But I'm not going to let him kill again. Thank you. So, uh, what do you get out of this? I mean, you could just teach school, say your prayers, and go to heaven someday. Well, I like teaching, but we have other responsibilities, too. for help. I think we can make a difference in their lives. And that's why you became a priest? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, I thought that, um, that you had to have some special kind of faith or something. I don't know if there is such a thing. I'm struggling to make sense of my faith all the time. 
You want some coffee? Yes, I would. Thank you. Let me into the offices just for a minute. I can't let anybody in here, Father. I've got to get in there. It's very important. The regulations, Father. If I let you in, I could lose my job. Okay, is there any chance you can make an exception? Sorry, Father. It's the rules. Right. Come back in the morning. Human Resources, Info Maintenance. Good morning. Yes, what do you want? I need some additional forms signed. I told your sister, Maria, that I'd be by. Oh, well, she's not here right now. We can't release the checks until these forms are signed. Well, can you leave them and she'll get them back to you? I guess that would be all right. I'll have to show you how to fill them out so they're done correctly. Well, I won't be here when she gets back, so... Then I better leave it on. All right. I'm in a hurry.
about this a bit. It's been a bit sandy. How long has it been since your last confession? Have you killed again? What are your sins? You're not a priest. You have corrupted yourself and betrayed me. I haven't told anybody anything. You have betrayed the priesthood. You have to turn yourself in while you still have a chance. It's the only way you can save your soul. Didn't you feel it? If you want. The damnation of their bodies. Who are you talking about? Are there more bodies? Are there more? Tell me. Do not deny me. <laughs> All right. Come up very slowly with your hands clasped above your head. I'm warning you! Give you a victim, right? Me and Crunchy. No. Yeah. Super broken before he could finish the job. She's still alive. No. No. Give him up, Father. He's not worth it. No. Father, give him to me. Why can't you find him? Huh? I mean, why do you put it all on me? You got an entire police force. Why don't you find him, huh? I can't do anything about it. You get him. You get him. Collars here from you. What was the name? Paul Kay. When did you order? I don't know. Can I look through there? Help yourself. Paul Kay, Society of the Cross. A cassock, box of ruined collars. How do you pay for these? Cash. What does this check mean here? It means it's on back order. We were all out of the cotton collars. He was fanatic about not wanting the police. So when they came in, we were supposed to deliver them. Where? St. Regis. Come on, anybody work here? Hello? What do you want? Paul Kay's room number, please. 109. Is he in?
Okay. Come on, Father. We followed you to Duffy's. Let's go. You're out of it now, Father. How is she? She's out of intensive care. She's gonna be okay. Great. Um, she asked about you. They know who he is now. They're gonna get him soon. You told them? Might as well have. I'm here to replace Thomas Cusack. He's going away? He's not a real priest. I don't... Amen. Okay. Ah. 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 